Right in front of the speaker stand, we have our Eagle Staff Carrier, Randy Brookshoulder. Randy Brookshoulder from Santa Fe. Danette Hopi and Chani Nations. Right behind them, we have our Miss Indian World. Let's give a big round of applause, our Miss Indian World. Taylor Susan. to Frog Lake, Alberta, Young Spirit. <laughs> Welcoming in our war bonnet dancers, Chief William DePoe. Welcoming in Gathering of Nations, Miss Indian World, Taylor Susan. Welcoming in head dancers for this afternoon session, Pat and Tanya Moore, Pawnee, Oklahoma, Cheyenne, Arapaho, El Reno, Oklahoma. Our Miss Indian Rural candidates. Let's acknowledge Miss Indian Rural candidates right here. Wave to them, wave to them. Yeah, West Canada. Representing New Mexico, Representative Choche Torres Small. Welcome, brother, welcome. Albuquerque City Council. American Airlines representatives in the grand entry. Thank you, American Airlines. Albuquerque City Council President, Clarissa Pena. Liberty Mutual, take 96. Liberty Mutual. Cut. A Liberty Mutual. Cut. What's the line? Cut. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what. Welcoming in our royalty, representing Hisapa Weed. Miss, hey, stop it, we, Uriah Littlehood, welcome! Yeah. Mana who? Mana who? Everybody, this is Paul Gatter from powwows.com, and tonight this is just our powwow chat um, show that I do every once in a while, and it is just my way. Hold on, let me turn the video off so you don't keep hearing that in the background. There we go. This is just my way of talking to you all and uh, making sure we all stay connected and give you some information that's going on with powwows.com and all the things going on out there. Uh, Ron, thank you so much for sharing the stream. That was awesome. Thank you. Please take a moment and share it. That's great. We really appreciate that. So first, let me uh, get some of the announcements out of the way. Um, let's see. Oh, Jody Lucas, thank you, thank you, awesome. Uh, so, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, or this one, 
they are on sale right now. 15% off if you click the link. Jerry Best, thank you for sharing. So Wednesday, and then we'll draw one person from the comments to win this. It is a double X. So that'll go out to you. Um, also, we do have our Pendleton Blanket Contest. And I was just showing you the blanket. So check that out. Uh, www.powwalls.com slash win. And because you all are watching tonight, if you use this code here, 8122, you will get an extra 25 entries into the contest just because I love you all. So those are the announcements. So here's what I want to talk to you about um, is I want to know what you all think of how powwows will change. Dolores, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you sharing. Um, so here in my state, I'm in South Carolina. We are starting to reopen already. Um, we reopened our beaches, our lake access this weekend. Um, I believe tomorrow um, retail stores can open uh, as long as they're maintaining, I think it's a 20% occupancy. So my first question to you is, if powwows resumed in, let's say, May or June, do you feel safe? Nola, thank you. Thank you. Another share. Thank you, everybody. Do you feel safe going to a powwow? Forget whether or not we, we, I know we all want to go to a powwow. So the first question is, would you go? If there's a powwow, hey, Ryan, what's up? Thanks for being here, man. So if you could go to a powwow in June, would you? Would you travel if it's not in your state or if you know, you've got to travel a couple hours away? Would you take your family and go? Do you feel safe in June doing that? Curious to see um, how, how people feel about that, where we are. So let's take a couple comments. Um, Manitoba, yes, they announced today they have postponed. Right now they are looking at proposed dates. I believe it is in August. Donna, hello. I know we all need to get back in the arena. I know. But the question is, um, do you have powwow? No, I don't. Sorry. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. Kat, thank you for sharing, too. Ryan's here. That's awesome. Joe, hello, hello. hello. Oh, man. A ton of people watching. Thank you, everybody. It's cool. Okay, so... Cameron, awesome. I'm glad you were able to watch. Hey, and by the way, speaking of another announcement, this weekend, I am partnered with the Gathering of Nations. This is Gathering of Nations Week, and we all, of course, are not going. We're all staying home. But I am working with the Gathering of Nations, and we're going to have a virtual experience for the Gathering of Nations. It's not going to be a live powwow, but we are going to replay footage from last year, enhanced with some other features and some other things, as well as we got a uh, Indian Traders Market set up. We got the program book that's going to be free that you can download, um, and we're going to be promoting some uh, charities and groups that are trying to help some of the tribes out with the impact that the virus is having. All right, so Lori says she would go. She feels safe. Ruby, thank you, thank you. Darwin feels safe from Saskatchewan. Carol says it's too soon, would not feel safe in June. All right, Wanda's not sure yet. It, it, yeah, I know. It, I'm not sure either. Um, Julia says she would go. Okay, thanks, everybody. This is good. Um, so, some people saying not sure. Um yeah, Dev, I think I think that is the right dates for Manitoba. Yep. Uh, Mario, right now, we don't know. I, several powwows are postponed or canceled. I don't know of anything happening until uh, June, July, and most of them are canceling too. So Ryan says it's not worth the risk. Sorry, Ryan, I keep clicking on your thing wrong. Not worth the risk. Yeah. And that's the thing is, is would you take your family? And I, I know it probably also varies from where you are in the country. Um, oh yeah, I know there's some good ones that have canceled. Kathy, thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, all right. So here's my next question. This is uh, it, pretty mixed here, but most people think, uh, when it's safe, I'll go. And that's the question, Debbie, is when do we all feel it's safe? All right. So here's my next question. And I, and I wrote an article on powers.com. It's in the comments or in the description up above. You can go click on that. So how, when powwows do reopen, if it's June, July, August, or in some area of the country, not until um, January, how are powwows going to be different? What's going to be uh, put in place to keep us safe, to keep the dancers safe, to keep the spectators safe? What, what are those things we're going to have to do? So I want to hear from you, and I'll give you some of my thoughts. Let's see. 
Sarah says she's missing her powwow family. I know, I know, I know. It's it's tough. Um, all right, so while I'm waiting for you all to say what you think is going to change, here let me remind you of what's going on. We do have our Pendleton Blanket Contest, um, www.powwows.com slash win. Um, remember to post a comment, and I will um, draw somebody to win this cool shirt. Um, here, now, while we're waiting on some of you to comment, I'll give you a close-up. It says, uh, we are Turtle Island, and it has the names of several tribes on there. Kind of pull it up so you can see. Hopefully that shows up. Okay. So that will be yours. And don't forget the bonus code into the Pendleton Blanket Contest. There you go. All right, let's see what, what all we said. Um, wow, in New Jersey, you, you guys are, are facing it. I know it's tough. Um, I have not heard anything about the California powwows yet. I'm guessing they are just waiting to see what's going to go on. But having said that, I know the mayor of LA said he doesn't foresee any, um, any public events happening in the LA area until 2021. Um, I know Morongo's right outside LA, but being that close, are they going to follow suit? I don't, you know, who knows? We don't, we just don't know what's going to happen yet. California is definitely one. Um, not until September for us. Yeah. Um, Kat says, yeah, we need a vaccine. I know. We need better testing too. Here in South Carolina, we are not testing as well as I think we should be. Um, thanks. I'm glad you like the shirt. Um, yep. Okay, so new leadership, yeah, I, I I get that. There's a lot of people uh, agree with you, a lot of people who disagree, but yeah. Um, I would just like to see consistent. Hey, Randy, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I would like to see consistent, strong leadership, whoever it is. The crowds will be thinned down as well as the grand. Okay, so let's talk about grand entry. That is a good point, Wanda. So how are they going to do grand entry now? Um if powwows happen this summer, my prediction is we're going to see modified grand entries. Maybe we'll dance the colors in, and then each category will come in and exit the arena, maybe, uh, to keep the keep the arena kind of clear. Um, same thing with some of the dance contests. Um, I'm doubting we're going to see um, huge heats. I think we're going to if we do have powwows, they're going to break those up into smaller category or smaller groupings. Um, you know, keeping it to and maybe 10 or 15 people dancing in a heat as opposed to 30 or more, um, and, which a lot of powwows do that anyways. But um, yeah, Debbie, how, what is going to be the new normal? This is, that's the question we want to talk about tonight. Um, it Right now, uh, yeah, Jacqueline, I agree. It is tough right now with the money situation. I know everybody all right, so Darwin brings up the other thing I want to talk about. Do you foresee dancers, singers, spectators at a party having to wear masks? Dolores, thank you for sharing. Can you see dancers out there wearing masks? Um, there's been some really cool art done on that. And here, let me um, actually, I'll switch over. Here's the article that I wrote a couple of days ago on powers.com. And uh, let me scroll down. So one of the guys I follow, Little Coyote on uh, Instagram, he has been doing a series of these drawings of his with powwow dancers and masks. Um, really cool. Is it going to come to that? Do, what do you think? Um, here, I'll show you some of his others. He's got lots of different styles. He's done a really good job with these. Um, but is it going to come to that? What do you think? Are we going to be wearing masks? Um, and if so, is it going to be just dancers or just singers? Um, our MC is going to be on the mic with, with, a with a mask on. Um, I'm guessing at first that that wiping them down first. Um, those, those are just things I can think of in the arena. Drum runners who are running microphones to each drum group. Either you're gonna have to sanitize those first before you take one to another group. Um, or these, um, some of these sound guys, um, Dale Roberts, if you're listening, uh, are going to have to start maybe buy dedicated mics for every person uh, or every drum group. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm curious to see what all you, you have to say out here. 
Let's see, Debbie, six foot distance. Yeah, and so how is that going to work at a powwow? Um, same thing with food vendors. How is that going to, you know, we all stand in, in 30 minute lines for fry bread and nibble my ears. How's that going to work? Um, they will do grand entry the same. If you feel good enough in your heart to be out there, we should just enjoy ourselves. I get that. Um, the other question, Joe, is even if we feel safe and we return to normal grand entries, will local jurisdictions and state jurisdictions, will they allow this to... Hey, Ricky Poy just subscribe. Uh, and that is not the graphic that's supposed to pop up. But Ricky, thank you so much for your support. Uh, I will fix that. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to be a zombie. Um, but thank you. Thank you for subscribing. That is awesome. Appreciate that. Um, you know, I'm already seeing, uh, like we said, the mayor of LA is putting restrictions on large gatherings. And if large gatherings do happen, how are they going to be restricted? Will they even let powwows um, proceed normally? Are they going to put additional restrictions on them? I don't know. Yeah, Rick, big question with Sam Manuel, Saboba, Morongo, and Paula Powwow. You know, they canceled last year, but maybe they want to do it again this year. I don't know. Darwin, beaded masks. Yeah, get on that. Um, <laughs> hey, D says, hey, everybody, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Let's see who else is saying it, it's hard to breed with homemade mask. Exactly. Fancy dancer out there wearing a mask. That's going to be tough. Um, they are sucking it in already. Um, <laughs> that's what I was just saying, Teresa. They will pass out. Um, maybe instead of wearing masks, they'll actually like have to put a little oxygen mask on or something. I, I don't know. Um, definitely need to be burning some more cedar, tobacco, some sage. Yes. Um, Lisa, yeah, so um, if you know, um, if you've been in some of the powwows that uh, Clayton and Tammy see and tabulating, they do use tablets, um, and they hand tablets to the judges, in, you know, for each contest, I think they have maybe two sets of tablets and, and can switch them on and off, um, so they're doing that now, but again, they're going to have to sanitize those, they can't, you can't start sharing those things right away, can we? Um, I don't know. Uh <laughs> For sure, there's going to be uh, hand sanitizer all over the powwow. Um, each drum may have their own little hand sanitizer station. I don't know. Um, inst instead of giving out tobacco to each drum, or, or are we just going to give big boxes of hand sanitizer? I don't, I don't know. Um, all right, Ryan, what does he say? Won't be many powwows this year, except for the small local ones. And, and that's uh, that's that could be very true. Um, you know, in some of these big cities like L.A., Philadelphia, New York, I don't know if these mayors are going to allow big gatherings to happen. Small regional ones, small local ones, maybe. Um, a gathering of nations, I just don't see. I mean, they've already canceled, but something that size, I don't see happening in 2020. Uh, I agree with you. I don't think that's going to be allowed to happen. A bunch of mini powwows all at the same time. Now, that's an interesting... That could happen, Joe. Um, so, it, like, if you're at a, a fairgrounds or something like that, you could have a couple of different... Hmm. Morongo used to split their arena in half. Um, so you might could do something like that, too. Interesting. <laughs> that could be a problem, too, Ryan. I agree. Um, someone make an app for everyone's phones. Yeah. Lots more virtual powwows. Can't wait to get back to the circle. Maybe July will be safe. Um, also, do you <laughs> I was actually going to start the show tonight by saying, hey, hey, all you cats and kittens, but I'm not sure if any of you had watched it. But obviously, Chris has watched the show. Um, <laughs> all I can hear now, because um, a friend of mine sent me a link to one of those TikToks with um, the Carol Baskin song, and that has been stuck in my head for days now. Um Killed her husband. Yeah, that one. Oh, man. Hello, hello, everybody. All right. Um, so here's some of the other things. Let me pull up that. Again. Some of the other things. Hey, uh, thank you so much for sharing. Um, Espirito. I hope I pronounced that right. So some of the other things that I put in the article I was writing that I think, and I'd love to hear your um, opinion on, if you think this will happen. Um, will we, as spectators, dancers, singers, food vendors, will we be subject to health screenings? 
before we go into large gatherings, are we going to have to have our temperature take, taken? Um, <laughs> before this all like went full out shutdown, my family was actually able to get on a Disney cruise ship. We sailed the March 13th to the 15th. So it was right there on the cusp of when it all started shutting down. Um, we were actually the last cruise ship to leave Port Canaveral. Um, and it was interesting to see some of the things that they had put in place on that ship, such as we had to answer um, an extended questionnaire of, of health questions. We were, our, our temperature was taken before we boarded the ship. Anybody who had a temperature over, I think it was like 99.5 or something, was taken into another room, given a more extensive health evaluation. Um, when we got on the ship, there were other restrictions. Um, so I'm curious to see, are, are we going to, you know, are Powell's going to be required to have some nurses on hand to take temperatures? Um, I, you know, again, going back to uh, in Albuquerque, in L.A., in some of these big cities, uh, some of these jurisdictions may require that as part of their um you know, permitting, permitting for large gatherings. Um, yeah, so things could be a lot slower. Agreed. Powwows, um, some powwows that, you know, used to end at reasonable times may be going late to not late at night because of the increased time um, for additional heats or just having to take the space. Um, yeah. All right. And a couple of, let me see what else I had said in the article. Um, Julia, Juliana, thank you so much. And I promise I will fix that. Um, thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate the subscriptions. Um, so, oh, tell everybody just stay where they are and people come and kind of pick you. I'm guessing that we may do that at first to keep that social distancing. Maybe instead of doing lineups, everybody just stays where they are and the judges move around and look at everybody's numbers. Um, even if a second and third wave doesn't come for a while, there's going to be another one of these. So that's what we've been talking about. Um, with some of our friends is, so next time this happens, um, how do we handle it? And how are like, how are powwows and large gatherings like this going to ha handle this in the future? I'm hoping that we can establish some, some protocols here and kind of set some baselines so that in the future, when, we, when this does happen, we, we kind of know what to expect and uh, can move with a little more certainty. Because I think that is one of the problems that we're all facing right now is it's just uncertain. We just don't know. Um, you know, if we knew that, hey, um, South Carolina, June 15th, you're going to be safe to resume these things, um, then I think we would feel better about it. But we, we've never done this before, so it's so much unknown. Um So let me see some of the other questions here. Dev says, I can't wait to dance again. I know Luke from Massachusetts. Hello, hello. All right, so those were things. So keep commenting. I do want to hear from you. Remember, if you uh, post a comment, I will draw a shirt, um, a draw a name for the shirt, and we'll give that away. And um, yeah, Teresa, so yes, that is a very real problem is whatever these restrictions are and whatever precautions do have to be taken, it's going to be an additional burden financially, time, uh, all kinds of things, uh, planning further out. Um, these powwows are going to have some expenses and some additional burdens put on them. How they're going to handle that, um, some of these powwows operate on a very tight budget already. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but again, they, they may be forced to. Um, okay, going back over the announcements. So don't forget, oh, merchandise is on sale. This shirt and the one I just showed that we're giving away is on sale right now, 15% off. And we're working on some new designs, so keep checking for that. We are giving away a Pendleton blanket right now. Sorry for going off camera. I was grabbing the blanket again. Here's that blanket again. Thanks, everybody, for staying and watching tonight. I really appreciate that. There you go. Um, and for watching, here is a bonus code. Take that and enter the Pendleton Blanket Contest, and you'll get an additional 25 entries just for watching tonight. Gray says, how can we get WS? Um, I'm not sh Tell me again what you're trying to, to ask. I'm sorry. 
Um, Nicole, who designed the shirt I'm wearing? So, um, actually, this was an idea I had. And um, I sell my shirts through a company called Teespring. Um, they handle all of the production and fulfillment for me. Um, I uh, like the designs from uh, Rochelle. Thank you, thank you for the for the stars. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Very cool. Thank you. Um, so um, I've had the shirts are designed by uh, several different ways, but I work with Teespring, and they um, actually have a team of designers that um, have been doing some designs for me. So. Um, I kind of tell them what I want and they design it. So this one, um, I told them kind of the idea I wanted and then they came up with the actual layout. Same thing with this. I told them what I wanted and they actually came up with that. So um, I don't have any of the other shirts. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. I'll show you a couple other um, shirts I have that uh, we actually work with a couple of native artists that uh, do some designs for us. So I wanted to show you those so check this out this one was designed by marty tubal marty tubals who is an editorial cartoonist if you have not seen his stuff before he does some amazing cartoons love those um let's see and this one i love this shirt um it's called the sacred and i just love that design love the colors um this was designed by another native artist melvin war eagle um, he has his own line of things too, but he's done a couple of exclusive designs for us. Um, so those are a couple out there. Um, and then I've, so that's kind of where we get those. Randy says he loves the Teespring. Yeah, they do some really cool work. And and I'm super impressed with the quality of the shirts. I've, I've got several of them, um, mine and other people's, and love them. Joe, I am, oh, Mark, sir. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry, Joe. I'm really sorry for your loss. Um, uh, we'll definitely keep you in our prayers. I know everybody here is thinking about you too. Um, some tribes like the Salt Lake have baseball fields with seven people. Yeah, you could. It, it, um, some of those places where they have the diamonds kind of arranged uh, back to back or whatever, you could split up and have several different powwows. Um, Logistics will be a problem. Everybody will have to know exactly which field they're supposed to be on for their contest. Um, thank you. Um, oh, you go to a powwows every year. And you, okay. So um, if you have a design that you like, Teespring does make one-offs if you want to upload your own design. And so there, some other people do too. Um, so I um, appreciate everybody being here tonight. And that was a thank you for all for your comments. Um, bottom line is we just don't know when powwows are going to resume. Uh, lots of people are postponing for the fall. Um, so I'm hoping that by then we are able to get back in the circle together. Right now, we just don't know. Um, even if we, you know, the first question I ask is, would you feel safe if powwow started happening in June? And many of you said that you wouldn't. Um, so even when we begin to have powwows, I don't know if we're going to have full attendance. Um, I know we all want to be back in that circle, but different situations and different families are going to have to make that decision on their own. And I'm guessing that some will decide not to travel for a while. Um, but we, you know, here at powers.com, I will keep tracking it and I'll keep updating it as we know more. We are um, updating the, our powwow calendar daily with uh, postponements and cancellations. Um, and people are still adding their powwows to the calendar for the fall, hoping that we're going to have those. So keep checking back. Um, Julia, they do offer some hats. We Powers.com hasn't done any hats on Teespring yet, but maybe soon. John, haven't been to one in years. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Bad year to try to go. Hopefully, you'll get back soon, though. And it says, can't wait to get back to the Powell circuit. Oh, a group of you that dance. Oh, cool. Yeah, California's got a great little circuit out there. I love going to the California Powell's. Um, How do we enter the for the blanket? Okay, so for the blanket, you go here. Um, www.powwows.com slash win. You fill out the form there, and then after you do that, you're entered in the contest, and then it'll pop up with a list of other things that you can do to get more entries. One of those things you can do is to enter this code in, 8122, on that site. There's a special place for bonus codes, and you'll get 25 more entries. 
the more entries you get, the more chances you have to win. It's not a winner take, or it's not a whoever gets the most wins it. It's going to be a random draw. So if you get more entries, you get a better chance. For the t-shirt, all you have to do is post a comment. Anybody who posts a comment is entered to win that, and I will draw that on Wednesday. Uh, wouldn't risk it. I'm guessing a lot of people are going to think the same. Wanda says, travel a lot, but think we'll be more careful for a while. I agree. I agree. Let's see. Ryan reminds me. So Ryan handles our uh, YouTube channel and does a fantastic job. So thanks you all for, I saw you, many people subscribe to our YouTube channel tonight. That's awesome. Um, and so Ryan is reminding, he releases uh, several videos every single day. He does a great job of scheduling us up. And we have got a ton of content out there, literally hundreds and hundreds of powwow videos. So if you are missing powwows, that is a great way to go and do that. Check out our, um, uh, don't have a, don't have the address loaded, but go check out our YouTube channel. You can find us on YouTube. Um, we're not hard to find. Tons and tons of video. Thanks, Ryan. Pretty sure there won't be any powwows in Illinois in 2020. All fairs have been canceled for the entire year. Wow. I had not heard that. I was guessing that was going to happen, but that's, oh. Uh, can you back to the, you want to see the shirt again? Is that what you wanted to see? Oh, you want to see, I'm sorry. Did you want to see this again? Is that what you're asking for? So here, yeah, here are more of the shirts that we offer. We do have several shirts for sale right now. So um, there should be something you like. Have one with just the Pow Wow Life logo on it. Um, that's a cool one. And actually, let me pull up one. Uh, let me pull off that. Let me try to find it. Um, uh, here we go. So if if some of you, Ryan, was around for powwows.com way back, way back, because we've been around for a little while. Um, okay, Ryan just posted the uh, YouTube address. I'll show that in just a second. So one of our, this is, it actually is our first t-shirt design ever. So I, I thought this was kind of appropriate for what we have going on right now. It says all dressed up and nowhere to go, visit powwows.com. Um, the idea of somebody sitting at home all dressed in their outfits uh, with nothing to do right now, that's is kind of appropriate. There are lots of people doing that um, with, there's lots of online contests and uh, the virtual powwows. So we've got a series of those shirts. Um, that's the traditional dancer. Um, we also have a buckskin dancer, a 49, a singers. Anyways, you can see all those out on the site. Let me, um, Thanks, Ryan. Here is our YouTube address. Debbie says, love to watch Powell's on Facebook. Don't forget this weekend, our virtual gathering of nations. Make sure you see that. Um, Teresa says she watches all the Powell's posted on Facebook. Thank you for watching those. I appreciate that. Uh, we don't post all of the videos. We post all of our videos on YouTube. We don't post them all on Facebook. Just Facebook's video isn't as robust as YouTube yet, but we are trying to post more to Facebook. Um, awesome. That's great. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching Powwow videos online. That is awesome. All right, everybody, I think that's going to do it for tonight. I hope you all stay safe, stay well. Um, we're going to get through this. It will be over at some point, hopefully soon, and we will be all dancing again. It's just a question of when. So hang tight, everybody. We will be back eventually. Um, so thanks, everybody, again, for being here. I appreciate it. I'm Paul Gatter with Palace.com, and I'll see you next time.